Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a really great day thus far. And so, of course, we'll be taking a look at what is currently going on across the Caribbean in terms of the rainfall activity. And so, before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so of course we're kickstarting uh, with the satellite view here of the North Atlantic and uh, we can see that there is some activity noted. However, the most notable feature is that storm system uh, in association with that front that extends from the US all the way out into the Atlantic and down into the Caribbean. And so uh, there is quite a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place along that frontal boundary. Uh, but closer into the Caribbean, we can see that there isn't as much activity. Uh, there was a lot of showers and thunderstorms in the Western Caribbean yesterday. However, a lot of that has dissipated. So let's take a closer look. And so here we have it. So some thunderstorm activities noted in the vicinity of Cuba. We also see a lot of cloudiness. And uh, also down in Central America, we also see quite a bit of that activity. So uh, it's most of Central America as well as the Cayman Islands and going up to Cuba and the Bahamas northward that are experiencing some uh, inclement weather conditions as a result of that front. For Jamaica, uh, there might be a bit of rainfall activity later today, but nothing much is anticipated from this system here. And uh, the front is expected to dissipate as we're going to be heading into tomorrow so it doesn't have a very long time left in the Caribbean and as we look at this surface chart we can definitely see it which is marked by that blue line with those triangles down into the Caribbean so it is expected to dissipate as we head into tomorrow and so it is inducing some rainfall activity so let's go ahead and take a look at what is expected as we head throughout today starting out with the icon modeling so we can see that this map here is getting a bit more colorful in the western caribbean compared to the east maybe just some brief showers especially as we head into uh later today going to the afternoon and evening but for the most part things are going to be pretty dry over there the weather there completely contrasts what is happening across some sections of the western caribbean right now so unfortunately if you're not loving the heat it is going to be continuing for some time so uh Rainfall activity expected across the Western Caribbean and uh, not much rainfall activity anticipated across Jamaica. So that's what the icon is expecting. Euro is showing a little bit of a, a better chance of seeing a bit more rainfall activity for Jamaica as well as other parts of the Northern Caribbean, including Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and of course, Cuba. Uh, it is also showing that rainfall activity for the Cayman Islands and down into parts of Central America. And then finally, uh, the GFS is showing quite a bit of activity. We're seeing uh, more of those red shades indicating some higher rainfall totals expected in parts of Central America. And then, of course, that activity extended into the Cayman Islands and Cuba. So uh, where we had that frontal boundary uh, is where areas and surrounding areas are likely to experience some rainfall activity as we progress throughout today. So generally, we can see that among these uh, various models, we're not seeing where much rainfall activity is likely for the Eastern Caribbean. And so guys, today is the 1st of May and the hurricane season officially commences as we're going to be heading into next month, which is June. Exactly one month from now is the official start of the Atlantic hurricane season. And so there haven't been any new uh, predictions regarding what is expected, but the NOAA will be giving theirs later this month. And I'll keep you guys posted on that. And in terms of activity or potential activity this month, only time will tell what is eventually going to be happening. But uh, one thing to note, which I mentioned in yesterday's uh, countdown video, is the fact that there are above average temperatures across the North Atlantic. And so uh, sometimes from the U.S., we have these frontal systems making their way out and uh, the tail end of them might remain behind with some moisture that can uh, develop and become something in the presence of the favorable conditions. So that is not out of it. That is still, I think that is certainly possible. So of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by on all that is happening across the region. And that is pretty much it for this update video. And so I hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weather wise.